What's going on everybody? Welcome back to G Maya's World and a lot of you guys have been asking about this Bo Jackson and you know should you be going after him? Should you raid sell Barry Sanders? Well it all depends on what you're looking for. Now Barry Sanders is a very very unique back. We currently have him right now and he's just a monster. Like I'm just gonna let you know straight up like the dude's just a beast. It's not even a question about it. Um, I want you guys to understand a couple things though. As, as much as we love Bo, he is a power back, right? And I understand what you guys are saying, like, you know, Jimai, you can truck dudes a little bit this year. I understand it, but I, I think it's probably in the best interest to probably make it so that he is a little bit more, uh, your back should be a little bit more elusive. Now, a couple days ago when everybody went crazy about getting um, the Bo Jackson, I actually got Barry Sanders for 860. Now, he went as low as 700 and change. But there's something special about this card. And I just want to show you guys, you know, where his price range is now and why you have to always pay attention to the market and understand what's going on. Because there was no way I was going to get a million. I barely had 883 and I saw him there. I was like, yo, we gonna grow. We, got, we got to snag him, right? Now, that's, ba that's Barry Sanders. This is Bo Jackson, right? So what happens is, let me just show you this real quick so that you guys understand, you know, what, where I'm coming from. Obviously, his power is going to be very, very expensive. It is what it is. Barry Sanders is a master. He does not have a power up. So that is pretty much where we are with that. We're going to go to quality. What is he, like a 90 to 91? Um, all right, so he's at about 603. All right, so theoretically right now, we could complete this and get it done and have him there uh, on our squad for like 300K less than what Barry Sanders is. There's a reason why um, that situation is like that. There's also a reason why this 997, you should never buy it. Because when you power up Bo Jackson, you get the same numbers that you would get if you had the regular one. You just have to power them up. That's all you have to do. Inside of the power up, it's exactly the same thing. You would have the exact same numbers. Everything is all the same. Now, remember with the way that everything is, right? Um, let me see, I want, I want to show you guys, where, where is it offensively? Where is his juke move, 87? Um, he doesn't get the glitchy animations uh, that Barry Sanders gets. Now that trucking is at the proper threshold. He is gonna truck somebody to the ground and possibly give them a brain brain contusion. Um, but is it worth it for all of that for you to go that crazy over this card? Probably not. And a lot of people lost a lot of coins getting rid of Barry because they really thought that Bo was gonna be this almighty God. And he's really not though, all right? So the 88 version that I have it's not the full maxed out version, but he's a pretty decent card. So what do I mean by that? Let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, I just wanted to show you guys the price ranges of what's going on in the auction house so that when I break it down, it makes more sense to you guys and you're able to fully understand exactly what's going on. So let's take a look at what's happening right here, right? Um, well, that was newest. We don't need to go newest. Let me go over to um, the situation over here. So Barry Sanders, we have him right now. Let's take a look at what he's doing. Remember, like I said, he can get any team chem, and he's also an elusive back, all right? So right here, let's take a look. Change of direction in 94, which is very, very huge in Madden 21. Change of direction is very, very important because it makes your players move a little bit more freakishly, right? Now, juke move 92, spin move 92. I will tell you this about the spin move. EA completely nerfed it, and it's garbage. So I wouldn't really run around trying to spin move dudes. I would go for the juke or I would just get a little bit sticky and be able to control your player, maybe hit him with the dead leg, uh, you know, a little bit more of the journal action, but the spin move is completely garbage. So I would be very, very careful with that because every time you go for a spin move, you're probably gonna get hit stick. And even though the fumbles are not as prevalent in the game, you may still fumble just because you're doing a spin move. Really, really ridiculous, but that's where it is right now. So when you look at the fact that he has all of these other attributes, he is actually the much better card, which the auction house clearly shows, all right? Not only that, like I said, he gets all team chems. Um, you know, pretty much you can make him a 49er and give him the plus one speed, all that good stuff, all right? So everything that I just explained to you guys is why he's a really solid card. My issue is this, right? If we were to go at, let, let's, say, let's say we got Bo Jackson because now we've been running the ball a lot more because EA pretty much told us that the run game would be a little bit better contained because of new run fits and new technology, but that's actually not realistically true, okay? Dudes run the ball all game, and if you don't have any defense to stop it, you're gonna pay for it, all right? Just so you guys are understanding what's going on. Let's take a look at Bo Jackson right now and kind of you know further explain. I showed you guys this the same day he was released. If you guys watched the video where I showed you that I got the free power up, uh, spent, uh, what is it, like uh, 120K, got the training, powered him up. I showed you guys, in his upgrade section, you can add either the limited 
or the regular boss item to get the same exact things. Nothing is different. I don't know if that's an error. I don't know what EA is doing, but that doesn't make any sense because it takes away from the value of the limited. But then again, if you play with the limited as is, you get the same thing, but you it'll cost you to power them up. So technically it kind of sort of makes sense because if you just get the limited, you get it all no matter what. You don't even have to use the power up. Um, but you know, when you do the actual power up, you get the same exact thing. It just costs you, you know, like an extra 20, what is it, like a little bit more, what is that, 12, 6, 18, it's going to be like 2300 uh, training. It'll cost you additionally because you didn't pull the actual, um, you know, the limited. So for me, to spend 600 and then you got to spend another whatever amount to get the amount of training, it's sort of the same thing as if you just went after getting a limited, if you wanted to play with it as is. But again, looking at his numbers, if you're going to go for the truck, if you're looking to truck dudes, you will get successful trucking animations with Bo Jackson. You know, with abilities, probably more likely without abilities every now and again, but 92 speed, 90, you know, 91 Excel, that's really exciting right now. He's actually stronger, but let me just be very, very clear. If you've played against him, he gets tackled by like little tiny uh, cornerbacks still. EA Sports has not fixed that to where the break tackle actually matters to where it's like, all right, I want a power back because I know I can expect to go ahead and get some broken tackles. Also, let me point this out as well. The power backs, you know, they generally, because the, you can't really defend a run as well right now because all the guys just, you know, they bump around each other like bumper cars. But when you get into the open field, the power backs have a major issue. If they're not able to get a successful truck, they're not going anywhere. As opposed to an elusive back where you can just juke. Bro, you can juke a dude into another stratosphere. If you don't have a successful truck, you are not gonna have any success. So I just wanna make sure everybody understands that this is the maxed out card. This is actually everything. Like I'm on the item where when you power them up, like this is what it will be. You look at the arrows to see what it will be going up. This is what he would be right now. So you guys have to understand it and make sure that it's very clear. If you do go after the Bo Jackson, just understand that he is not, he's not the better back. Like, like I'm just being honest with you. Even as much as everybody wants to act like he is, He's just not, all right? Elusive backs give you a lot more leeway with making mistakes, with making jurdles, with making a lot of different, all the additions that they added to the game, being able to jurdle, the agility, all that stuff, that's something that EA Sports put into the game because they want us to utilize it. So what happens is when they develop the game and they're looking to add these new features, you gotta go with the players that take advantage of the new features. So these elusive backs, they can journal from one side of the field right to the other if you time it right and completely offset where the defense is. All the time for the spin move and all the other stuff, that's all over, guys. And I want you guys to understand, do I like the Bo Jackson? Am I going to probably do another pack open and try to, try to you know, complete it and have him on the team? Yeah. And the reasoning that I'm going to probably do that is because for the most part, it'll have a set with the run game. The passing game is very, very dangerous right now because I'm still trying to figure out what really works, what doesn't work. You guys are telling me like, yo, g -Ma, you gotta go after Jermichael Finley. The dude mosses dudes uncontrollably. Well, you guys are probably right about that, but the game is not geared up for that type of action right now. Probably after the tuning update, it will be more likely to be wild and ridiculous. But at this time, I'm running the ball continuously. I only pass the ball in like third and long situations because I realized when I came into the game, I was like, yo, they changed it. The run game is gonna be different. Then I started seeing like, hold on, dudes are running the ball all over me and none of my defense is doing anything. So all the run fits and everything that they did, it doesn't make any sense. I have edge threats on my players and everything and they still get ran all over. I'm pretty sure, you know, people that are watching this video, you've been run all over as well. So the run game is still pretty dominant. So it makes sense to have two key backs. Now, getting into that situation, right? Let me give you another alternative. We could raid sell Warwick Dunn, okay? We could raid sell this guy. Even though he is an elusive back, we can raid sell him to accumulate coins to go after something else because we don't need three top running backs. But you can see his agility hits that 90, change of direction is a 90, whatever. Like, he's right there. We could actually utilize this guy, um, you know, in raid selling him and going forward and getting the Bo Jackson because maybe Bo, you know, fully maxed out will be able to do stuff a little bit different. Maybe he'll break a tackle. Maybe he'll do stuff. Um, I know most of you guys are probably saying like, yo, he has to be better than Warwick Dunn. He's faster, all that stuff. You're probably right. So look, 
let's let's think about it like this, right? Let's go take a look at Warwick Dunn's price and see what's going. Is he powered up? Okay, yeah, he's powered up, so we can't see his price from there. Um, he's probably a guy that I may raid sell because I, I think that it like he he's a good card, but I think we're like, you know, we're pushing it. You know what I'm saying, guys? Like it's like all right, we got so many running backs. Like we're not running it like that to where it's that ridiculous. Like we don't need that guy too. That that's just crazy. So we may look to getting rid of him because I think you guys would agree that Barry Sanders and Bo is, you know, that that's pretty much, you know, that that's where it's at uh, ultimately. So um, he's going for about 208 right now. His price has dropped. Um, I, I think it cost me more to actually complete it. So getting rid of him right now probably would be the move to actually get rid of him and, um, you know, pretty much go from there. We could, we could see what we could do after that. But that's what I'm leaning towards because he's the most value. So that'll put us up, you know, pretty much like around close to 400K. And then we could probably figure out the rest uh, in order to get, um, in order to get Bo Jackson. But I think that that's something that we should do, guys, because we realistically just don't need him. Um, so more than likely, I am going to raid sell him because he, he, you know, everybody else that's available right now, I think it's much better if we just, you know, we primarily go after Bo Jackson and Barry Sanders have those two backs in the game. Warwick Dunn will be gone. Plus, we got Cam Akers. I think I have him in a specialist slot. So we'll be all set with that. Uh, look out for that. Um, I probably won't give you a raid sell video because I'm telling you about it right now. But more than likely, Warwick Dunn is not needed right now. The two best backs in the game is Barry Sanders and Bo. And then we got Cam Akers as a third. So I think we're all set with that uh, going forward. So that's pretty much where we are right now. I would let you guys know the ranking is pretty much Barry Sanders and then Bo Jackson. That's the ranking. That's my opinion. Let me know if you agree. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. You have an unbelievable day. Until next time, one love, y'all.